a roundabout, take the first exit onto Corrin Drive. Yeah, guys, we're fucking lost. <laughs> right, so we're here at the ping pong, guys. <laughs> It's not all rainbows and unicorns on that Google. Right. Is Kim's height the bonsai's? Short like her. Yes, stout little trees. The stubby little tree. <laughs> short and tubby. Short, short and tubby? Yes. Where's your bonsai you were growing? You wouldn't call it growing. Did you see any green or Nothing. anything? Nothing. Nothing. What happened? No. I got ripped off. <laughs> That's probably from Yorkshire. And it's just too poor to grow any bigger. Oh, there's prickly. Turn it around, you'll see a prick. Yeah, <laughs> she's doing about me, guys, no way. Uh, <laughs> You're not bagging me, are you? I'm recording. Nah, it's talking about digging a grave, how deep it's got to go and uh, how okay. wide. And <laughs> could you fix it? I could fix it, but yeah. he won't lend me his tools. Nah. Kimmy's got these new gloves and she hasn't toughened the fuck up yet, have you, babe? The fingers have gone funny, look. Oh, they've gone pink, babe. Just because you've already had your spin today at Harley Davidson. <laughs> Where you go? Right, I'll be locking the door. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, this is outside our back door. Oh, Rusty, please get out, Bob. Tease a squirrel up a tree. Anybody? Hey, is that me? I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out a notepad And wrote something for me Walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost And I looked down at what he wrote Hey, uh, Kimmy Russ Adventures out on a little outing today with the fam These ones, the poem? Hey, uh, Bob and the going? sister. <laughs> and they've brought us down a cockerton. Cockerton? Cocking. Cocking. Cocking ton. Because it sounds like pom, you see. Is that not right, Mick? <laughs> sounds like pom. No, I didn't build it. No, no we're, but we're here, mate. We're here. It was here, was it? <laughs> so we're down here. We're going to have a bit of brekkie and have a bit of a look around. Oh, Kim has found a bit of a turtle over there, haven't you, babe? Can't see him, though, I don't think. What? I don't know if you can see him. Yeah, I can see him. Can you see him, Mick? He's oh, right, yeah. He's yeah, right but I mean there. the camera might not be able to see him. Anyway, oh, we'll go. God. This is it here. We'll go and get a bit of brekkie, eh, babe? Or something. What do you reckon? Or a coffee? Or something. Okay, they so the borders borders for brekkie at a dodgy looking place. He's got a couple of dodgy looking people here, babe. Yeah, they're characters. See? Look. I mean, they've never. People on YouTube have never seen us with dodgy people no. before, have they, mate? No. Eh? <laughs> but we've got a pom here. Yeah, we've got a little sister there, haven't we, babe? I'm not saying nothing about your sister. Yeah, you know. I'm talking about the pom all day, but not the sister. <laughs> Only because she's got to spend one more night at her place yet. That's why she doesn't want to say anything. Yeah. You should hear what she says when we go to bed at the night. Oh, I tell you, it's shocking, isn't it? I say, shut up, Russ, stop <laughs> snoring. <laughs> OK, so we're here at Gold Breakfast Creek. at Gold Creek. It's a little cafe. And we've got a couple of toasties, haven't we, sweetie? Yeah. 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 And see, even, even sis over there, Debbie, her name's Debbie, he's got a toast in. Oh, Mick, he's got, he's got the big breaky gum. He's got bacon and eggs, he's got hash browns, he's got mushrooms, tomatoes, everything, haven't you, Bacon, Mick? eggs, sausage, hey. food, tomato, beans, hash yeah. brown on yeah. toast. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? With a side serve of three omelettes. Yeah, I'll show you when it comes down. Yes. So our coffees have been delivered and mixed, mixed dressing because he hasn't got his brekkie yet. <laughs> anyway, he's oh. stressing, isn't he, eh? Does it look stressed? Does it look less stressed? <laughs> that looks retired. <laughs> hey guys, we're going to dig in. We just got our coffees, big mugs. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look, Kimmy, she fanged it. Mm -hmm. You're starving, baby. You nice. had too much to eat last. Uh, you had too much to drink last mm -hmm. night, didn't you? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, well, we know Debbie did. <laughs> <laughs> did yeah, what were the readings? The readings were bad. You don't want to know what the breath over readings of Debbie was. Everyone else is coming down. And she's still going up. On she bay. 14, something last night. 8.14. Yeah. 8. Yeah, three or four times the limit. Anyway, uh, we'll catch you soon. Bye. At the roundabout, take the first exit onto Curran Drive. Yeah, guys, we're fucking lost. <laughs> they, they live in Canberra and we're lost. That was the Google you could hear. Want a boat? So we're in, we're travelling along and we're going to look at a pink lake, aren't we, sweetie? We are, apparently. Now, these guys reckon this pink lake's brilliant, don't you? The naturally occurring pink body of water lies hidden amongst trees in Bruce, across the road from the University of Canberra. The bright colours make for an unusual sight in the bush capital and is a favourite of local photographers. The pinkish hue comes from Azola pinata, an aquatic micro fern that is native to Australia. <laughs> Do you? Never seen it. Never seen it. And how long have you lived in Canberra for? Only 30 years. Uh, well, obviously they haven't lived here long enough because old Kimmy found the pink lake, didn't you, babe? On the Google. On the Google. On the wide world internet. <laughs> So we're going to go and see if we can find it. We might be able to show you. We are travelling in a Chrysler, what is it? 200C? What is it? 300C. 300C station wagon at the moment. So we're in la la a, la a, a, a lap of luxury, aren't we, sweetie? Yeah. yeah we can't move. Oh, Kimmy's, <laughs> Kimmy's really fucking strapped in here, aren't you, both? Should have positioned myself. No, she hasn't put on weight and the seatbelt's not big enough. It's just, it locks in, don't it? Yeah, th this car looks after its passengers. Yeah. Right, so we're here at the Pink Pong, guys. <laughs> and I don't know where the fucking pink's gone. I'm going to have to flash. Yeah, just, I'll put the camera out and I'll show you the Pink Pong, guys. <laughs> there, there, it's the fucking Pink Pond. <laughs> now, if anyone can tell, what do you reckon, Mick? Is that bloody pink to you or what? <laughs> hey? I can't even see a shoe. <laughs> no, I can't see nothing. Look at that. Now, I'll put a picture up on the internet of what this pink pond looks like, but that pond is not fucking pink. We've been with both. Yep, it's uh, not all rainbows and unicorns on that Google. Uh, you're the one that found it, I so you're the one we're blaming. It didn't look like that on Google. <laughs> it did not. It's did false it, advertising. Yes, uh, we'll venture on. I don't know where to now, but... Well, that was my choice, and that was a dud. <laughs> so, nah, next person. Well, it looked fucking pretty. Well, it did. It did look pretty. OK, so we're up at the National Arbitorian. Is it, sis? Yes. Right, we're, we're going to go through the National Arbitorian, aren't yep. we, sweetie? So, um... This is, this is all the area here. There's lots of people here today, but um, there's a lot better views on the way up. But the actual centre is down here. So we're going to have a look at it, aren't we? To yeah. see what it's like. Mm. OK, so this is the entrance to the National Arbitorium. So I've been told, in a boat. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, see if they're lined or not. Oh, what we're are all they? down through here. Something leaves off oh, a tree okay. and... Look, babe, but they've got bees here and everything. Pollinations. Oh, pollinators. Of, did you take hay fever tablets, babe? Yes. Okay, that's good. So we didn't lie, did we, babe? National Arbitorium. Who's the Kimmy Russell with Brainy, eh? Yep. Well, Kimmy Russ aren't too brainy. It's called Arboretum. It's not what we were told by the people we were with. Oh, look at the structure there, mate. So this is the centre at the National Arbitorium. We're going to have a look at some bonsais, eh, babe? All right. It's Kim's height, the bonsais. Short like her. Yes. Stout little trees. A stout little tree? A tubby little tree. <laughs> short and tubby. Short, short and tubby? Yes. They are nice views from up here. Yeah. So this is the National Bonsai Impinging yeah. Collection at the Arbitorium. This collection consists of 120 exhibits with approximately 75 trees on display at one time. The trees are a variety of traditional and modern styles with the collection highlighting Australian native species including Banksia and Eucalyptus. Many of the trees are owned by the collection whilst others are on loan from around Australia by the artists 
or their family. This allows for continued involvement with the community and enables for a dynamic and diverse collection that is always changing and providing new experiences for visitors. Kimmy, yes. where's your bonsai you were growing? Babe, um, which one is it? We wouldn't call it growing. What would you call it? I'd say it was dead in the ground. Did, did you see any green or nothing, anything? Nothing. nothing. What no. happened? I got ripped off. <laughs> well, like she didn't know what she was doing, guys, but anyway. <laughs> Apparently, hey. the pom has said, the pom has said this is the best one here because it's an English elm. That's probably from Yorkshire, and it's just too poor to grow any bigger. <laughs> Didn't have enough Yorkshire pudding, did it? Uh, hey? right, so this is the Discovery Garden, Canberra. Oh, it's got cactuses and everything in here, babe. So that's the cactus display there. Oh, there's prickly. Mm -hmm. In the boat. Turn it around, you'll see a prick. <laughs> yeah, you it about me, guys, no way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very nice pathways up through here. It's some beautiful garden. <laughs> We've got trees everywhere. So this is on the other side of the, what is it, cafe at the Ar Arbitorium, is it? Yeah. The Arbit Canberra Arbitorium. This is the other side looking out. They've got a heap of land here and a hell of a lot of different trees, haven't they, babe? This looks like a miniature Jacob's Ladder. Jesus Christ. You, you you would ride that Jacob's Ladder, wouldn't you? Because it's all bitumen. Yeah. Hey? Getting your, but getting your bike up around now, some of them corners might be a hassle. No, hey? I'll just go off-road. Anyone that knows Jacob's Ladder, ladder goes up um, Ben Lomond. Ben, yeah. Yeah, Pete, Ben Lomond in Tasmania. And it goes up zigzag all the way up like that. But it's on dirt and it's a lot longer than that, obviously. The National Arboretum Canberra is a mosaic of living forests and gardens offering breathtaking views, unique experiences, and a world-class entertainment and events hub, including the award-winning Margaret Whitlam Pavilion, the popular village centre, and the National Bonsai and Penjing Collection of Australia. With over 44,000 rare and endangered trees across a 250 hectare site, the Arboretum is a place of beauty, conservation, scientific research, education, tourism and recreation. Can You're not bagging me, are you? I'm recording. Nah. You, you sure? Nah, promise. It's talking about digging a grave, how deep it's got to go and oh, how okay. wide. And... <laughs> it's got to go fucking wide, I don't know that much. Yeah. Well, that's the National Arboretum, isn't it, sweetie? That's it. That's it? Yep. Did you like it? Yeah, the Canberrians liked it too. You got your first bit of exercise. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> right, where are we, babe? At the Royal Australian Mint. Royal Australian Mint, that's it, over there. That's we're in gonna Canberra. Go, we're going to go and get some money, aren't we, sweetie? Get some money. Pay yeah. uh, $3 to get a dollar. Yeah, mm. that makes good sense, doesn't it? This is the Royal Australian Mint. Imagine the pokies, babe. Oh, my God, yeah. Get a bag full out, sweetie. Yeah. Get a bag yeah. full out. So this is inside the Royal Australian Mint. What's wrong, sweetie? Um, they're all five cent pieces, I think. Is it? Yep. Here's a look. All five cent pieces, Kimmy said. Do I smile or? No, I don't know. There you go. Here it comes. The dinosaur one. Yeah. Oh, there you go. 250 centimetres equals 951 dollar coins. You're worth 570 dollars. Oh, you might be worth 571. I've got a bargain. The Royal Australian Mint is a sole producer of all of Australia's circulating coins and is a Commonwealth Government entity operating within the portfolio of the Treasury. The Mint is situated in the Australian Federal Capital City of Canberra in Denison Street in the suburb of Deakin. It really is a very fascinating place to go and visit. I can imagine them taking busloads of school kids through here and showing them. It is set up for all the kids. But in saying that, this kid here had an absolutely wowser of the time. But I did say for kids, it is very good for adults as well. There's the 
coin down in there, yeah. but it looks like it's sitting up here. Magic. Buying more stuff, babe. I am. There? So what do you think of your visit, babe? Oh, look what I got. <laughs> look what Kimmy got, a dinosaur game. What that has to do with the um, mint, I do not know. I don't know, but yeah, you I get do the not little... know. Yeah, I don't know. We have no idea. Yeah, that was a tour of the mint, an Australian mint in Canberra. Okay, so it's very, very wet here in Canberra at the moment. Look at this. Now, we've got to do some, oh, look. Well, look at this. Is this not serves? Kim doesn't even do that for me, Mick. Oh, well. Bloody hell. He's looking after me, babe. Is he look, look. There's women. Uh, we have to do a bit of maintenance to Kim's bike because look, He's she's, got, she's got a 360 foot peg here at the moment, see? Look at that, 360. So, Kim, I don't know what you've done to this one, but anyway. Housewife. He's good, isn't he, eh? You should be fixing this. Me? Hand Kim the tools and tell her. <laughs> well, I'll show her. Yeah, I can have a go at it if you want me to. Well, anybody is. Could you fix it? I could fix it, but yeah. he won't lend me his tools. No, nah, no. Nah. So we've got to take a little sir clip off here, right there. To get this off, of course, there is a bolt down in here, which connects it all up. So we'll see how we go, eh? We'll leave the foot peg off anyway, so it doesn't matter if the circuit goes flying. You're going to leave it off? Why? We don't use it, and it does fall down on us sometimes. Oh, like that? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. when it is that properly, yeah. It's about having the tools, isn't it, mate? Well, so it's I don't come a... across that tiny. Just like this, yeah. I don't lose it. Pin out. It's got no blood Loctite on it anyway, has it? Got nothing on it, no. Yeah, yeah shove a bit on there. It's a bit poor, Harley. A bit poor, Harley. So that's what imagine goes that, in right imagine there, Imagine doing that to every single bite. Poor work, Harley, in a boat. Poor, yeah. Could have devised a better way of doing this. Fucking Harley Davidsons. <laughs> Septic tanks, mate. <laughs> Septic tanks. Septic tanks. That'll goddamn do, goddammit. Come all the way to Canberra to get the foot peg fixed. <laughs> Must be a good mechanic. Fucking good ride, though, in a babe. <laughs> it's all about the ride, they say, don't they, Mick? Yep. <sighs> get out of that, you bastard. Thank you very much, Mick. Do you want me Mick. to have a go at tightening it? <laughs> <laughs> My arms are a bit, you know, more buff bit than yours. <laughs> That's a bit not rough. As, not as fragile as mine. You wait till he does the invoice up, babe. It's fragile. You wait till he does the invoice up. That's a Harley fix, we hope. What, so you're not putting the foot peg back on? Does anybody ever hop on the back of the Harley with Kim? <laughs> no, 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 they do not, do they, babe? No seat for a reason. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not that. It's because no one trusts her <laughs> in a boat. I had Nikon with me once. <laughs> never been on again, is she, babe? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, we've done our time in Canberra. It was time to hit the road again. And Canberra turned on a beautiful day for us, considering for the last three or four days it had been pissing down with rain. But it was time for us to head east, over to the east coast of Australia, to see what we could find. Okay, so we're just leaving family. Well, we think we're going to Bateman's Bay, don't we, babe, at the moment? Yeah. Oh yeah guys, look at that beautiful view over there, right? Eh? Canberra has turned on a bit of sun for about time, isn't it? As yeah. you remember, we've been in Canberra for three nights at family's place, at sister's place, haven't we, sweetie? And oh, yeah. a brother-in-law's. And um, when we got into Canberra, we rode through the pouring rain for about 90 k's as we're coming into Canberra, and we've been there ever since. And it's been raining virtually ever since. Apart from a little bit yesterday, it started clearing up. We have got the next few days clear by the looks of it at the moment. Uh, we were going to go to Dubbo, but have changed our mind because there's some floods in Dubbo. So, not a good scenario at the moment that way. So, we're going to head across to the east coast, which could be dangerous for us, couldn't it? Well, with, with weather. Um, 
and go across the Batemans Bay for the night. We are working our way up through to Newcastle, we will be, to um, visit more family, the daughter this time. So she's a real um, a stop, a stop and go sort of trip at the moment, isn't it? Yes, it's unfinished family business. Yes, we haven't seen him for a few years, so it's going to be great to see him anyway. And might I add, anyone coming to Canberra, Deb and Mick's Motel, it's just the best. <laughs> the best place to stay if you're coming to Canberra. Yes, even if he is a bloody pawn. <laughs> uh, great bloke, great bloke, isn't he? Anyway, yeah. we'll catch you down the road. We are going to call in to Fraser's Harley Davidson. We're going to be going virtually past there, um, heading to Bateman's Bay. So we're going to call in there and have a bit of a look. So we're coming up to the city there. We're just on the outskirts of Canberra City, if nobody has ever seen it before. Just saying. What do you reckon, mate? Yep. Just in yes. case. We are, we're not going through the city itself. It'll start getting busy now. Well, hopefully not too bad. It's only a Monday morning, so... Just watch the maniacs, babe. Yeah. Canberra, actually, I find a very easy place to get around. Sort of everything sort of linked in a circle, and yeah. It's fairly good, I suppose. That's because it's a planned city. OK. So here we are. We've pulled up at Fraser's Motorcycle in... Where, babe? Where? Fishwick. Fishwick in Canberra. So we'll go in here and have a little look see and we'll see what's going on eh? See how much money Kim can spend in here today? Is that what we'll do? We'll have a look, won't we'll, we? We'll have a look, yes guys. Right, so Kimmy she's yeah no she's hit the wallet again. <laughs> Didn't you babe? <laughs> the wallet's been in again. Another Harley Davidson store and the wallet got hit. <laughs> yep, sorry, yeah. but that's yeah. what it is. Well, as you won't be fucking eating tonight, guys. Well, I can afford not to eat for a week or so. My body can live off. Oh, okay. Live off my body. Yep. Just need alcohol. Alcohol we can do. I've got four stubbies in the back for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'll do me. <laughs> oh, yeah, fucking right. <laughs> I'm not going to eat and I drink four stubbies. Yeah. It'll be off my head. Yeah, no, she's bought a set of gloves, uh, a pair of gloves, um, uh, leather gloves for winter. Ah, uh, for summer I should say, summer gloves. And she has also brought another t-shirt. It's just as well she can extend her bag, I can tell you that right now. Wanna see my gloves? <laughs> uh, okay, show them your gloves, babe. There you go. That's her new gloves. And they got pink on them and they match the pink in your in your leather jacket. Babe, it's playtime at Macca's. Oh. It's playtime, sweetie. Can I bring my toys? To bring your toys? What toys, babe? What toys are you bringing? I don't know. What's in the bag, Russ? What? What's in the bag? What's... That, don't give me this, what's in the bag, because I know what's in the bag. There's a heap of fucking clothes and everything in the bag that you've just brought. Yes, and goodness only knows what else. As well as toys. Toys are not appropriate for McDonald's playgrounds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, we're going to add some breaky. Well, we have just left Macca's at Queanbeyan, haven't we, my dear? Yep. And we are now heading across to Batemans Bay. And oh, we've rode this road once before, I think, haven't we? Yeah, we've definitely rode it once before. Don't know about twice. And it's normally a pretty good ride out through here. It's a nice ride, isn't it? I can't remember. Uh, I was waiting for that one, yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. You'll remember a bit of it when we go to turn. There's a little town, I'm not sure what it is guys, so don't quote me on this. And it's a real nice little town, all trees and everything, and a little cafe on the left. And uh, I can't remember what town it is though. Okay. You'll remember then. And if not, well, I will. Seems like we're kind of going down, so... Here we are. Yeah, but I thought New South Wales was kind of up from ACT. No, ACT's in the middle of, is not in the middle, but it's in New South Wales itself. New South Wales is all the way around the ACT. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they just wanted to call themselves the ACT, because... Yeah, that's it, babe. The parliament are there, and they want to feel special. That's it, babe. There's great views, though, in the bay. Beautiful. Great to be back on the bike. Doing? Filling the fucking potholes in. Yeah, well, they could well be, babe. It's a good idea. Uh, follow me, follow me. Yeah. And dodge 
Well, so far this road's been better than all the other roads we've been on in the bay. <laughs> so what's the name of the place, babe? Bungador. Bungador? I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right, but it's spelled Bungador. There it is, yeah. Bungador Tigers there, so yeah. Bungador. It's a quaint little town. So you turn right here, and I thought there's some cafes on the left as you go around the corner. Real hot here one day, and they had the sprinkler and everything on there. Oh, yes. Yes, remember? Ah, yes, no, it's not there now, though. It will not be the place I'm thinking of, guys. Oh, I do remember that place you're talking about. Yeah, now. yeah. No, this ain't yeah. the place I'm thinking of either. Because we went through Vega and all that that year. Mm. Someone came through the... Yeah, I heard that. Oh, someone's talking up the front. Hello, how are you guys? <laughs> Where are you? In front, are you? Uh, on, the, on the motorbikes, front the door. In front of riding? us? I think we're, what are you in? We're riding Harleys. Oh, but, no, 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 hey, you're coming towards us. Oh, right, okay, yeah, cool. I'm waving now. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> you oh, you guys on the bikes. What are you on? Are you yeah. both on those two bikes here? Yeah. Oh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gathering you got sent a mesh, eh, hey, guys? <laughs> See ya. Kimmy Ross Adventures. At, at YouTube.com. Kimmy Ross. That's us. Look it up, guys. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Bye. How funny. In front of this car. Oh, we'll go behind the caravan. <laughs> oh, how's that, eh? The mesh, the mesh connected up to them, riding in. That is the place, babe. That was all those cafes here that I was talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, there you go, guys. I was actually filming when that happened. Kim and I come around that corner talking about this town, and it was the town I was thinking of. The cafes were just up on the left a bit more. But we're coming ahead, and um, all of a sudden we're hearing people talking to us, uh, talking. And um, see this motorbike in front, we thought it was them first up, but it wasn't. I said, are you the motorbike in front? And they said, no, nah, it's the motorbikes coming towards you, which was oh, probably 400 metres away at the time. Yeah, strange. Oh, yeah, cool. I'm surprised you didn't get the Kimmy Russ Adventures in first. Well, I'm sorry, babe, I failed. Yeah. I was trying to get it in there, babe. I was so excited we had friends. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we'll continue on. That was a little town, though, guys, I was thinking of. And Kim did recognise it. Didn't you, babe? Yeah. I was wondering so, if we'll go right into this little town yeah, again. Yeah, so this is the little town of Braidwood, guys. Look at the old nice buildings here, will you? Look at that. Wouldn't you love to have something like that? I wouldn't like to have the money to keep you up, could it? Braidwood is a true rarity, a town which is a major thoroughfare for Canberra residents heading to Batemans Bay in the coast, which, by some miracle, has managed to retain a strong sense of its 19th century history. Today, it is an important service centre and historically it has a vital centre during the Gold Rush area. Part of the modern importance has been due to an influx of artists riders and people seeking a tree change. And part of it is a result of travellers stopping to explore the boutique shops along the main street and purchase the specialist local produce. So that was Braidwood, we'll guys. We'll have to stop somewhere. All oh, right. Okay, up here, okay. Just up here in front of this survey, babe. Kimmy's fingers are cold with her new gloves, guys. <laughs> So, Kimmy's got these new gloves, look. Kimmy's got these new gloves and she hasn't toughened the fuck up yet, have you, babe? The fingers have gone funny, look. Oh, they've gone pink, babe. No, they've gone, they've gone pink. Oh, that's your arthritis, sweetie. That's your arthritis, sweetie. You think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's your no arthritis. fingers. <laughs> She's got to change her gloves. 
Yep. Right, so we're coming down the Clyde the Mountain, isn't it? Yep. Clyde it was. Oh, we've got a waterfall. Look at that, babe. Oh, right nice. There. Nice. Very nice. It's one of those little heap of waterfalls coming in there. Oh, look at that view over to the right. Ooh. Oh, there's like a valley or something, isn't yeah. it? Can't see it on camera. Yeah, you guys can't see through the trees probably, but it's absolutely stunning. Like Mount Hotham again. It is fairly steep coming down here. I don't know if you can see that, guys. And the speed limit is only 70 k's coming down through here. Should be a long haul for trucks up here, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, we've got another waterfall here, babe. <laughs> Gash, gushing away. Went down to the city with a suitcase in my hand Looking for a better deal and trying to find myself a plan Roaming around the streets, filling up some useless time And if I'd seen her then and there, I would have asked her to be mine Talk about Ooh, someone to dream about. I'm going home alone with only trouble on my mind. I've roamed the streets a thousand times, but a girl is hard to find. I've learned my lesson oh so well. There's only one thing I have found. This is Bateman's Bay. Bateman's Bay, the largest coastal community between Wollongong and the Victorian border, is located 278 kilometres south of Sydney on the Princes Highway. Canberra by the Sea is how many people see Bateman's Bay. Certainly, it is the closest seaside town to the national capital, and certainly it is a popular both as a holiday destination and place of retirement for those who spend their lives in the chilly air climate. Located at the mouth of the Clyde River, Batemans Bay is now a very extended suburban sprawl which stretches south from the river mouth. It is hard to tell when the town, now the largest coastal community between Wollongong and Melbourne finishes and some of its satellite communities begin. It's the Clyde River, not flooding, so that's a good thing. Not here anyway. So all we got to do is find accommodation, don't we, babe? Yeah. I reckon that one we were looking at last night looked okay. Did it? It was 100 metres from town. Babe, our motel's gone, the one that we had before, I reckon. Unless that's yeah. it there. Maybe they, maybe they brought it for this bridge. I don't oh. know. So this is Batemans Bay, guys. It's a nice little town. I do like Batemans Bay. Yeah. So we'll hang a left here. There's the boat it's shed with the fish and chips. Yep. So this is where our motel was before, here somewhere. And it's not here no more. I reckon it was oh. here where the bridge is, babe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Our old motel. There you go. Batemans Bay Lodge there. Yeah. You got no one behind yet? Nah. We'll do a U-turn down here. Soon they stay somewhere, then they pull it down. I know. It was another one that we're missing. Yep. First time we come here. It's only 40 through these streets too, by the looks of it. We're only doing 20 anyway, so... Oh, sorry if I'm wasting it, babe. <laughs> There's motel here, waterfront, Zorba. Yeah. Just here on the left. 
That was the blue one. Yeah, I don't know, but... So that's one there. Hotel patrons here. Only. There it is, that's it, Hotel Motel. Wait, there, that one there, babe? Yeah, the blue is that the park? And, yeah, but look at the park. And... Well, this is where we ended up. The Zorba Waterfront Motel. This is a great little motel right in the heart of town. And as you go out the back door, look at this. There's a boardwalk all the way around the river. What's not to like about this motel? Kimmy, what you doing, Kimmy? <laughs> Rusty's chasing her around the place. Go down the street. We've got to go. We Stop fucking with me. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get dressed so we can go down the street. We're a Bateman's Oh no, so come on, hurry up. Just because you've already had your spin today at Harley Davidson. <laughs> Where you go? Right, I'll be locking the door. <laughs> come on, good. Hurry up. Hurry up and get dressed. Put her on. Put your new gear on. I'll show everyone your new gear. What are you doing, babe? What? Come on, buddy. Poor old Kimmy. Poor old Kimmy. We're on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. We're on the road again, aren't we, babe? Yep, no, we've been, we've been forced to stay up for three nights in Canberra, haven't we, babe? Yeah, yeah nice. but you got to do the family thing, don't you? I'm sort of pleased we left, though. We're back on the road and... I don't know if my body would have handled much more laughing because we had a fucking ball all the time and probably too much to drink, didn't we? No, no never too much to drink. Well, maybe never too much to drink, but we had a ball all the time in camera. Tonight we are at Bateman's Bay out this morning. The beautiful Bateman's Bay. I'll show you in a minute where we are. But um, we're over the east coast. We were going to go to Dubbo, but... It's raining, it's flooded over there, so we decided to come here on the east coast. We're going to end up the Newcastle up to the daughter's place, aren't we? Yep. So, but in the meantime, we're sitting here looking at a beautiful river, which I'll show you in a minute, wasn't it? We had a brilliant ride over from Canberra, didn't we? Yep. And funny thing was, we got seen the Bluetooth, right? And we're riding through a little town, aren't we? And all of a sudden, someone starts talking to us. And I thought, whoa, what the fuck's going on there? Because of the centre that we're running, we were running mesh Bluetooth, which some people might not know, but other people can connect in with mesh. And we said, there's this motorbike in front of us. I said, Kid, who's that him? I said, is that you in front of us? I said, no, it's not us in front. And then all of a sudden they said, we're coming at you. From about 400 metres away, they picked up on us, and they're talking to us while they're riding at us. Chatting we're riding, away. Yeah, chatting away. Said hi, then give him a good wave on the way past, didn't we both? We did slip in the Kimmy Russ Adventures. Yes, we did. We did advertise that. Yes, yes we did. Now, like I said, we're in the beautiful Bateman Bay. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful, isn't it, guys? Hey? Look at that. Yes, this is outside our back door. Absolutely splendorous, isn't it, babe? Oh, look. She's into the pork crackles. Look at her. Look at her. Every time I go away, that naughty little girl plays up and starts doing stuff. I should have had my pink shirt on. You should. Yeah, speaking of shirts, guys. See that? Stand up for a sec. See that new shirt? Uh, when we left Canberra Harley Davidson, um, when we left the sister's place today, we went to Canberra Harley Davidson Fraser's, didn't we? Uh, Someone had spent a couple hundred dollars, eh? That fish we got Yes, it, with that shirt, yeah, yeah. Canberra Harley Davidson. And someone, someone had to spend a couple hundred bucks, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Now, the way that equates to me is four cartons. Four mm -hmm. cartons. That t-shirt wasn't a couple hundred, there's other stuff she bought as well. Mm -hmm. Pretty come on, there. Four bloody cartons. So, anyway, we'll be right in here tonight, won't we? As you know, we've been at the sisters for the last three nights, and all we've had is a single bed. Double bed there, and old Rusty is as frisky. Hey, old Rusty is frisky as hell, Bob Jason. Jason is squirrel up a tree, isn't he, babe? Hey, is that me? Tree? I'm in my bed. What, your single bed? 
Yeah, Rusty, frisk his hand on the case and squirrel up a tree. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's wrong? All right, so this is the abode for the night, like I said. All the mo- now, that telly there. I tell you, I-, I thought it was a smart TV when we got here, right? And I thought, right, we'll watch. Hey, didn't I say, we'll watch Darren Sale of Dino Madness Adventures tonight. Yep. And then I said to Kim, there's a problem. Now, what problem was it, babe? His head. His head? <laughs> His fucking head wouldn't fit on TV that size. It's going to be too big, isn't it? It's going to scare the life out of me if his head went on that telly. <laughs> He'd take up the whole fucking screen. But anyway, we've got a bit of art in here tonight, a bit of arty arty. And um, this is ju- it's just a normal bathroom, this one, with a normal shitter. Now, Rusty, rocking it with Harley Davidson, too. Where did I buy that from, babe, when your bike broke down, didn't I? Hey, sweetie? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some good things come out of bike breaks. What the fuck? Okay, look. Four or five o'clock in the afternoon, she's got the chain on the door. She trusts no one. Right, okay, guys, I'll just show you. Oops. I'll just show you this, look. So this, this is our bikes. And this is our motel for the night. So, it's pretty good. It's pretty good indeed. But we do have, we do have one little problem. Now the problem is, I'm taking Kimmy on a love cruise tomorrow, aren't I, sweetie? Babe, where are you? I'm taking you on a love cruise tomorrow, Mm -hmm. aren't I, sweetie? Mm -hmm. Now, see that there river, right there? We're going for a cruise up that river, aren't we? So, the problem being was, we had to get a motel. Now, we got this one for the night, but they're booked out tomorrow night. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, we've got to stay two nights now, don't we? Because we're going on this love cruise up the, up the river, like mm-hmm. I said. And um, so, yeah, put them on. Put them on. And we hoofed it up the street, didn't we, babe? Yep. We hoofed up the street, no, knocking no. on the doors of the, all these motels. Well... Mm-hmm. The only problem was, nine out of fucking ten people realised we'll keep me around the benches and said they were full, didn't they? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know what the go is there. And even, even next door, over there, there's a motel just over there. Got a whole gang of fucking bikers in there and they still wouldn't let Kimmy Russ in. No. no fear, guys, we've got one up the road, though, didn't we? So we're here for two nights. Then we'll make our way up to Newcastle. What do you reckon, mate? Yep, that yeah? sounds like a plan. I haven't even had any of them yet. Oh, Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. What size is that shirt you brought today? Hey. You could either eat this huh? or drink your alcohol. What would you Lord rather? Yeah. Say goodbye now. You mentioned that. I'm going to have to eat you on the head, I think. See <laughs> you guys. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant